Hi, my name is Betty Kreidberg with RibbonFair.com and this is our video series on ribbon shredding. And there's a variety of ribbon st shredder styles and today we're going to be using the razor shredders because I am using metallic ribbon. So your plastic sh tea shredder will work just fine or a pin shredder will work just fine with a flat ribbon without a coating on it. But for the metallics you do want to use your um, razor shredder. So all you need today to make a ribbon flower is um, ribbon, scotch tape, and your shredder. If you'd like to add it onto a kebab stick for your party trays, that's great. Your pens and pencils, that's great. We're going to be doing a package flower. And again, the rule is with ribbon shredding, the wider the ribbon, the faster it goes, the less material you use, and you'll get the job done right away. I'm going to start by taking a short piece of ribbon, and I would say this is probably about three inches long, and we're going to shred just the center. That means you stop before you go off the edge. Not always that easy. Sometimes you just zing it right off the edge. That's okay. We're going to show you what to do with those pieces. So um, I'm going to take some scotch tape, lay it on at the edge of the row of shred, fold this in half, and I'm going to trim off the excess. Now I am going to um, attach it to a starburst peg, and these are new. What you're going to do is, and in each bag there are directions for your starburst pegs, but again you can refer back to our video series over and over again. We're going to just scotch tape that little flat, uh, piece of ribbon right on to the starburst peg. Now here's the other thing. Um, on the first one I'm going to tape it straight, but as you'll see, and as with many shred items, if you tape them crooked, it's going to look great. So the first one, I've got the little bud wrapped right around there. You know what? Sometimes that's all you need. You can put that right on the frosting of a cupcake. And you can use it on a party tray. And in another one of our video series, you'll see how to decorate a twinkle light. You, that would be a twinkle light peeking out right in the center. So you can go ahead and wrap that right around your twinkle light. If you want to make it a little bit thicker and bigger, we'll go ahead and tape another piece around that. And just take our scotch tape and wrap that right around the outside. When you get to the longer pieces, I'll show you in the Simply Shreds book, there's going to be a petal pattern. And all that petal pattern is, is when you take your longer piece of ribbon, again, we shred just in the center and stop before you go off the edge. When you fold it in half, we're going to on purpose tape it crooked. And you will be surprised what that little mistake actually produces. Fold it in half, and this time I'm going to offset. And it looks to me like I need a little bit longer piece of tape there. And again, if you have extra on the bottom, just get rid of that. Now, you also, sometimes when you shred, you're going to get the little fringe benefits on the side. Go ahead and leave them there, and I'll show you what to do with those as well. Just wrap this right around the outside, and you have got yourself a beautiful petal pattern. It adds the swirl effect to that. Again, your fringe benefits, go ahead and just curl those right up. You've got a curling tool on the edge of your scissors there. So again, I'm going to add another piece on the outside, insert it into the shredder, pull it slowly, and stop before you go off the edge. Looks like I've got another fringe benefit on this one. We're going to curl that one up again, fold it in half, and to show you again, we're going to just purposely tape it a little crooked. Trim off the bottom and wrap that right around the outside so you can make your flower as large as you like. You can keep wrapping that right around and around and around. But to finish it off, what I'm actually going to do, I've shred this one in the middle, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and trim off the edge. And we're going to show you how to just finish it off with a little fringe on the outside. Again, scotch tape. And I'm going to wrap that right around the outside to give it that little waterfall effect on the outside. And you have got a beautiful shred flower that's ready for your package or your table decoration. To add it on a package, I'm going to just take my little glue dot and 
just take the bottom of the starburst peg, touch it on there, peel it off, and that is ready to go right on to your package or your party tray. We've used these as a centerpiece. You can arrange your cookies or your celery and carrot sticks around there and do a beautiful party tray decoration as well. So that's ribbon flowers. Um, that is a ribbon shred basic flower with two colors. Again, stop back for our video series at ribbonfair.com and check ribbonfair.com for a calendar of events we might be demonstrating in your area. Thank you very much for joining us today and have a great day.